Today we're in the heart of Cebu City. We already did the touristy stuff, but I'm more interested in the local life. Because everywhere I go, I see and hear about weird things in the Philippines. From an American perspective. We've been in Cebu for about three days now, and we decided to stay right in the heart of downtown this time. On our way to find food, Joy pointed out this guy. He's sleeping here not because he's homeless, but because he's a construction worker working on the sidewalk. He just camps here until he finishes. He pretty much lives here until the job is done. Sometimes he builds a little shelter to sleep in, and sometimes they just sleep on the street. That's called barrack, when they build a little place so they can sleep because they don't earn much money. And another reason they sleep there is to protect their supplies, because if it gets stolen, then they have to pay for it. Look, this is fast food, and it's we brought it out on a sizzling hot plate. Another weird thing is how fast food is kind of considered fancy food. And spaghetti is usually a treat that's reserved for special occasions like birthdays. Actually, we grew up in province, so we don't really experience or go into fast food like that because with us, it's kind of like so expensive, you know. You can go to the fast food and you can eat as long as you have work. But usually we're like, uh, I just stay in the house. Mostly me, I was like, I don't want to go there. Just yeah. going to stay in the house. Then rather than spending a lot of money for those fancy restaurants, See? Fancy restaurant. Yeah. This is the building where we're staying. It's crazy. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> the apartment we rented was super sweet and very affordable. I think it was just over $30 a night with an amazing view of Cebu. The next morning I wanted to go see where Joy used to work because she used to live here during a really hard time in her life. So we held some motorcycles. So we went to your job. You used to work there. Yeah. You showed me this, uh, where you used to work on this really busy little street. Is it where, this is it? This is, your, this is where you work? Yes, I know her. So I used to work here before. You used to work here? Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> So is it fun to come back here and see? <laughs> and yeah, I saw some of my relatives that work there. This is my the sister of my sister-in-law. This is one of my relatives. Do you remember? Okay. I worked the, there when I I lost my voice. So I don't really talk to people there because they don't really understand me. I have to like... <laughs> you know. Joy didn't have a voice for a year and a half. So she had yeah. a surgery in it. Her voice box was damaged so she couldn't speak for a year and a half. And she yeah. worked in this store so while she couldn't speak. Yeah, it's so, and it's, it's kind of so interesting to me because I, I hear a lot of discrimination with other people. Like, why is she like that? Why she can talk? Like, oh, I just look, <laughs> her, her voice is like an alien or whatever. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that's weird in the Philippines is in all the stores we went to where people are hanging out, Everyone's just playing with the food, and specifically the rice. Yeah, like we're... you guys are just sitting there and you're playing with it, and you're you're grabbing pieces and eating it and throwing yeah. it at each other. Every all the employees are doing it. The people coming up with money are playing with doing their money, and then they're playing with the rice. It's just so common there that no one thinks about it. But in America, that would be that's considered really weird. That's it's like considered no, everyone no. would be like, oh no, you're contaminating the food. No, I, I don't know. It's kind of like a habit in a Filipino when you work in a store. I, I did that when I was kind of like yeah. play in the rice. And this is an interesting question. Since you use your feet for everything, like hands, do you ever play with the rice with your feet? Oh, no. <laughs> That's gross. Okay. We're not going to so do that. So there is a line. There is a yeah, line. Yeah, there is, there is a line. Uh, <laughs> like, what the heck? I did notice you and everybody doing this in the nice grocery stores too with the meat. The meat would just be out and you would be picking through it. Yes, I did. You'd be like picking up pieces and putting it back and then you'd grab some and put it in a bag. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a no-no in America. 
Oh, it's in the because Philippines. It's, 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 it's the employees who touch it and give it to you. But, well, in the Philippines, it's, it's, it's natural. Yeah. Everywhere you go, like um, uh, even in, well, in the mall, they use the... The little tongs? Yeah, they use that. And, but then the market or somewhere they have display fish or whatever, mm -hmm. you can pick your hands to yeah. make sure that the fish is uh, fresh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it makes sense. I don't have anything against it. I, I actually prefer it in the Philippines because it's like you can decide what you want more and obviously you're going to clean your food. So. Yes. And she cleans her food way more than I've ever seen anyone clean food. So it's just part of how you m prepare it is you're constantly cleaning it. Yes, I clean, I clean the food or like... It's like overkill. Uh, it's like a sushi restaurant. Yeah, I, I use like... It's like water pouring in I use, They use water, salt, and flour to mm. make sure it's clean, you know, like... Yeah. Even here we get the packaged food and it's clean and she's cleaning it again. And I'm like, you don't have to. She's like, no, exactly. Because the meat here is their smell. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I don't like the You're smell. It stinks. I wonder if the smells just because of the packaging. It makes me throw up. Um, it made you throw up? When yeah, you're... like when I smell it. So. Wait, but... did you throw up and I didn't realize it when you were cooking food once? I was gonna hold it. No comment? Oh, you were holding it. But, <laughs> I was gonna like, mmm. But you know, by cleaning it, well, that's how, uh, that's how I clean it. So I kind of remove the smell of the, the meat. Okay. You know? How yes. much would you clean the rice in, in the Philippines? Well, I clean the rice like more than three. <laughs> more than three times? Okay, I so wash it over wash and it over and again. Wash it again, wash it again. Okay. Yeah. I wash it over and over again. Oh, I have to smell it, the mm -hmm. rice. And I, have I to noticed touch that. It. And now it'd be like, what are you smelling for? And she's like, cockroaches. <sighs> yes, because by smelling that, you can tell if there's cockroach in it. And mm, mice, probably. because it's milk. You were telling me that when you're a kid, that your parents support you and pour into you and feed you and pay for everything. But then once you've graduated high school, it's like yeah. the roles change and now you're paying them back for raising you. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's the way the Filipino culture is. Yeah. You know, like it's a tradition. Yeah. Uh, that's called utang na loob. That when your parents are getting older, you're the one to taking care of it. Mm -hmm. By doing that, it's kind of like repaying them back on how they're taking care of you when you're young. One of the things that surprised you about moving here to America is all the old people driving around and driving and active and doing work and, and cars and working at Walmart and whatever. You're just like, wow, that's so amazing. They're working. And they're, yeah. They're driving and they're 80 years old. Yeah, I'm so amazed with old people here because they don't rely on their kids. Yeah. You know, they work. They work hard. And, you know, like we went to Home Depot and there's a guy like, he's so old. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I was like, did he really know all the price of this? <laughs> Like, you know. And I'm trying to explain to her that it's not because he wants to work at that age, it's because he has to work at that age. Most likely. Some, some, some old people want to keep working because it keeps them active. Their culture, it's very different. It's not like in the Philippines. If when you get older and you can stop working and then you have kids that can take care of you, here, they don't rely on each other. Mm -hmm. They're like, I have to work. Yeah. As long as I can go to work every day, even they're so old. It's amazing, you know? I should have got some of that fruit. I wasn't meaning to come out here and walk down the street. Weird thing number five is kind of because of weird thing number one. The sidewalks are kind of like a parkour course in many places. It would be hard to get around if you were overweight or elderly or handicapped. You have to be a gymnast in order to get down some of the sidewalks mm. because you have to be like dodging and twisting and... And I think Filipino, like even this tiny road, yeah. they can like, you know... Yeah, it's, it's so interesting. They're, they're very flexible to fit in their body there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Weird thing number six is motorcycle and pedestrian etiquette, which seems to be completely backwards from America. It seems like if you push your nose into any traffic, you and everyone behind you automatically gets the right of way. And pretty much anything goes in some places. Sidewalks, wrong way on one-way streets, gutters. It seems like as long as you can get through without hurting anyone, then it's okay. Yeah, I still, there's still some, a lot of things that I don't really understand on driving in the Philippines, like. <laughs> <laughs> Even though people would be swerving all over each other and barely missing each other, no one had road rage. People could be driving the, on the wrong side of the road, on the sidewalk, they could be driving through grass over someone's front yard. You can walk in front of someone, they just kind of look at you and drive around you. And that was really interesting because in America, if, if anyone does something wrong, people are super pissed off. But there, everyone seems to be totally chill. Mm -hmm. Except for the last weird thing, which is also a terrifying thing. Our friend, my friend told me this story and he said, we hired a van to drive us to the airport and he was flying down the road and suddenly hit someone, killed him instantly. And my friend was screaming at the driver saying, stop, stop, you gotta stop and help him. Mm -hmm. And the driver just kept driving. He, he actually started driving faster. And the driver pulled into a police station. He said, if I would have stopped, the family would have come out and killed me. And so yeah. that apparently is a thing over there. Like this kind of, everybody's cool with you doing anything you want until you until you hurt somebody then it's then it's eye for an eye of course well you know the family would react if they they saw their their family like laying on the ground and it's mm -hmm. dead you know like the whole family would come off them well there's 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 other accident happen like if for example if you bump some car and it's not an, an in front of the family then you can track mm -hmm on them and calls an ambulance but mm -hmm. um, yes some family they become aggressive but one of their family are had an uh, yeah. accident in front of them of course so, so it's like playing the situation by ear that like the, the, that driver knew he had to get out of there yeah because of that it's, it's different in the province and it's different in the city though so you yeah. know in the city everyone just stands around and takes videos and uh, po post it on social media before they help me like oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's because we, a bonus weird thing you're not allowed to touch anyone who's been in an accident you yeah. have to let the, you have to call some, you have to let someone who's licensed to do it take care of them otherwise because if something happened and they make it worse they will blame they will someone blame by touching them yeah but yeah that's so that's, that's why there's a lot of social media posts of people in serious accidents and it's like shocking to americans but it's just all over down there mm -hmm. you Ex even posted one the other week of your dead cousin well well it's not true with us you know like yeah. um the, you know we can share what happened and you know i want to post that video because i want you yeah. know you might someone would would show us or might someone would tell us who did it to them, yeah, her, to cousin, him. her cousin got you know, shot a bunch of times. He got robbed and robbed you know, and shot, and they don't know who it, who did it. So she posted about it. And anyway, those are some weird things in the Philippines. And this is our time in Cebu. Thanks yes. for watching our video, you guys. Yes, I'm sorry for not very updated uh, video. Yeah. But on posting video because I am kind of like, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, I just got here in America and I am in the process. Like, I don't know how to yeah. react a lot of things here. And I don't like live streaming. So she wants to live stream. I'm like, I don't want to do it. And so we're both. And then I started working on some other stuff. So I haven't had time to do all my editing. But we are going to keep posting videos on this channel and if you guys haven't seen our philanthropy mission video uh check it out we're trying to raise money for the next mission will be probably next year because we got to wait kids. for joy's green card in order to go back mm -hmm. so yeah i have a lot of things to say guys here in america but you know i i don't know how to start the day we have been filming stuff so we will start making videos about her opinion of america soon I want to get through all the videos of us when we were in the Philippines first, so. So much thing, like so much 
things in America that makes my head like, oh. Yeah, like what does she think of eating her first hamburger? That's a oh question. My well, we have a video about it. Uh huh. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for all um, for always supporting us. Yeah, and let us know if we were thinking about having Joy kind of take over the vlog um, now that we're in America, and she can do vlogs while we're in America, and I can do vlogs while we're in the Philippines. What do uh, you guys think? Yeah, I was gonna like <laughs> because it wouldn't guys, be uh, edited like I do it, but it doesn't uh, matter. I have to talk in English, and I'm not good in English. You know? Oh, but it's still interesting. You can talk in half Tagalog, half English. I have the Visaya accent, to my goodness. It's so hot. <laughs> All right. But then, well, you... that's it. If you want some more weird things about the Philippines, let us know. We'll make another list because there's more. There is. <laughs> and then we can make a weird things about America from a Filipino perspective, too. Oh, my goodness, guys. We will be freaked out. <laughs> All right. See you next time. See you. I wonder if someone would say, Oh, her better language is saying that she's not happy. Oh. Uh.